We begin tonight with a developing story, a major announcement in the fight against prescription drug abuse. Last year, on average, two people died every day in the state of Washington from opioid drugs. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. The state's attorney general, Bob Ferguson, says enough is enough. And today, he announced a lawsuit against the manufacturer of OxyContin, a pill commonly prescribed for pain and very often abused. KXY 4's Kyle Simchuk has been following this story all day. And Kyle, the attorney general blaming drug makers for this epidemic. Well, Nadine, Attorney General Ferguson says Purdue Pharma misled doctors and patients by claiming their drugs were safe and had a low risk for addiction. This afternoon, I spoke to a Spokane mom who's battled opioid addiction for more than a decade. She told me the pills prescribed her nearly cost her life and her child. It doesn't matter who you are. I mean, it will take your whole life. Harmony Wolf has struggled with addiction for most of her life. Out of every single drug that I've been severely addicted to, Oxycontin was absolutely the worst. An opioid prescription took away her pain. It also took away everything she had to live for. I'm actually the one who called CPS. Harmony lost custody of her son twice throughout her long and painful search for sobriety. I'm so blessed to be alive today because so many of my friends are dead. According to the Washington Department of Health, 694 people died from opioid-related causes in 2016. In addition to civil penalties and damages, we're asking the court to order Purdue to give up the profits it made in Washington State as a result of its illegal conduct. Ferguson says Purdue Pharma ran a deceptive marketing campaign convincing doctors and patients that their pills were an effective tool in managing chronic pain and had a low risk for addiction, abuse, and overdoses. Seattle City Attorney Pete Holmes filed a similar lawsuit today as well. This lawsuit is one way that we can bring more resources to help the thousands of people in our community recover from addiction and rebuild their lives. And through the justice system, we will hold those accountable for the current opioid crisis and make them pay. Today's announcement is a major development in the fight on prescription drug abuse. Few addicts get second chances. Harmony and her son are an exception. I got him back six months ago and the case is closing on the second. She wants other addicts to know there is hope. And if you don't have somebody to love you, love somebody else and do it for them. And Purdue Pharma responded to the lawsuit saying in part that they vig vigorously deny the allegations and look forward to presenting their defense. And the city of Everett has also sued the company and earlier this week a federal judge ruled the lawsuit could proceed. Live in studio, I'm Kyle Simchuk, KXLY4 News. Thank you for that, Kyle.